Pablo Emilio Escobar Gaviria, also known as the King of Cocaine, is the wealthiest criminal in history, having amassed an estimated net worth of 30 billion US dollars by the time of his death. That is equivalent to 64 billion dollars as of 2021. While his drug cartel monopolized the cocaine trade into the United States in the 1980s and early 1990s. The famous perpetrator was the head of the Medellin cartel, which is arguably the world's most powerful drug trafficker in the 1980s and early 90s. Escobar was responsible for killing about 4,000 people, including an estimated 200 judges and 1,000 police, journalists, and government officials. In the 1980s, Escobar's Medellin cartel was responsible for 80% of the cocaine that was sent to the United States. Escobar started at a young age. After being kicked out of school, he began his career as a thief in the streets of Medellin, Colombia. It's rumored that Escobar got his start by stealing tombstones from local cemeteries, then sandblasting them and reselling them to Panama. Paulo then started on the drug scene by smoking Colombia's highly potent pot. I give Escobar a C for cartel and conscientious. He started one of the most powerful and prosperous drug cartels, earning an estimated $420 million a week and making its leader one of the wealthiest people in the world. Escobar had ample money to spend, and he did. His opulent lifestyle included private planes, luxurious homes, and over-the-top parties. In the late 1980s, he reportedly offered to pay off the country's debt of $10 billion if he would be exempt from any extradition treaty. Escobar also built hospitals, stadiums, and housing for the poor. He even sponsored local soccer teams. His popularity with many Colombians was demonstrated when he was elected to an alternate seat in the country's Congress in 1982. On December 2nd, 1993, Escobar celebrated his 44th birthday, allegedly enjoying cake, wine, and marijuana. The very next day, his hideout in Medellin was discovered. While Colombian forces stormed the building, Escobar and a bodyguard managed to get to the roof. A chase and gunfight ensued, and Escobar was fatally shot. Nearly three decades after his death, Pablo Escobar remains as well known as he was during his heyday, as the head of the Medellin drug cartel, and his name lives on.